Hi Air Science, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon and Venus rising and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see the one who broke your heart, the one who hurt you, see what they've been up to, if they feel any guilt or remorse or if there's a possibility of coming back together here. Now this is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a, a, a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed just below the um, video here. The magician has sort of just made its way out of the deck. Okay, and the seven of swords, all right. So the one who hurt you really did hurt you, didn't they? Okay, this one wants to come out. Okay, underneath it was the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the uh, Eight, not the Seven, the Eight of Swords. I'm mathematically challenged. Um, Alright, Seven and Eight. Interesting. Now, this is someone who did hurt you. This is someone who I feel, feel like has broken your trust here. This is someone who, you know, you've got the magician and the seven of swords here. The magician is a manipulator. At the end of the day, he he's skilled at what he does. Okay. You know, um, mental deception, trickery here. So I feel like this is someone who deceived you. They've broke, they broke your trust. Maybe they have been dishonest and disloyal with you, they've cheated on you. I feel like they've done something in an attempt to keep it from you here, hoping that they, you know, that they would never get caught in the act here. Okay, but they did. I feel like they did or either it just got to the point where the guilt ate them up and they confessed to something to you. Okay, swords are a weapon here. They are destructive here, so I do feel like this is someone who's they, they may have hurt you with their words, their actions, their intentions here. But notice how with the Seven of Swords, notice the way that he's trying to sneak away from, I think it's a military camp, right? So he's pinched those swords, his head is swiveling around because he's looking for any witnesses. Um, so, so, that, so that tells us that, you know, he knows that what he's doing is is in the wrong he knows that he's in the wrong yet he you know continues to carry out this wrongdoing notice how the knives here how he's holding not the knife sorry the swords um, it's only a matter of time before they really start digging into him so this I feel like is where the guilt comes into play okay essentially you know the consequences of their actions have caught up to them or will catch up to them okay karma is a funny thing it's got everyone's address written down so if this is someone who has hurt you, don't seek retaliation. Do not seek revenge here. Try and forgive this person, even they have, even if they haven't necessarily asked for your forgiveness. It's better for you because we don't want unforgiveness running around in your subconscious and then you know projecting its way in diff uh, itself in different ways here. Um, karma will take care of that. Okay, this person is going to learn their lesson here. Um, but I feel like the hurt itself was. A, not, yes, it's what they've done to you, but it's also the fact that they've kept it from you. It's that act of betrayal, the fact that, you know, they didn't necessarily confess or the way that you had to find out about it. I feel like that was the most painful um, for you here. The magician tells me that maybe things have ended for you very quickly. So for some of you, this is an energy who may have ghosted you, even after you felt like you've developed such a strong connection with this person. You may have known this person um, for quite some time before they've ghosted or just really ended things abruptly with you and um you know pulled away 
this is someone who I feel like, look, this person did, with the Ten of Cups, I feel like this person did have a very strong emotional connection with you. You know, they did have an emotional bond here. Um, I feel like this person also saw you as the, um, the mother of their children or the father of their children here. I feel like this person did... You know, they they did see the two of you building a future with each other. They did see you in their future. And in their future, they saw you possibly setting, settling down, buying a house, turning it into a beautiful, happy home, building a beautiful family, having children, family pets, a family dog, the white picket fence. They saw it all and they saw having it all with you. But unfortunately, I feel like their actions here is... Their actions or their words is what precipitated this, you know, this hurt or this pain here and ultimately the ending of your connection. This is someone who I feel like is, and the reason why I feel like, I'm picking up that there is some sort of unhealed emotional wounds or trauma in their energy here and they've not dealt with this and in a way they've kind of projected some of that hurt or that pain onto you here. I feel like your person needs alone time right now. So if you are talking with each other, it might be a good idea to give each other some space here because I feel like your person really needs to think about, um, like face the music, think about what they've said or what they've done here and just how they potentially have ruined what could have been a healthy relationship here. Okay, because I feel like this person was acting in a, you know, a much less than a honorable way here. Someone who may have been playing around with your feelings, okay? Someone who may not have necessarily been taking this relationship, this connection seriously. Um, someone who didn't pay their way, whatever that means. Um, I'm also seeing that maybe this person had a drinking or a gambling problem, which also impacted your connection with them negatively here. And I feel like maybe they refuse, they're in denial about this still, or they're refusing to accept that as a truth here. Um, I feel like sometimes the Seven of Swords and the Magician can denote that this may have been a casual relationship with little potential for this to have been anything more but this person wasn't upfront or honest with you like for instance the fact that they've ghosted you um you know maybe the way that they started off this con uh, connection with you was you know ultimately leading you to believe that they were looking for a relationship but they were looking for something seriously but you know deep down inside they weren't they just wanted to have a bit of fun have their cake and eat it too here um and this isn't someone who was very up you know not very upfront and honest about what it is that they wanted here Um, I feel like there's still an attraction there. They still care for you, but the Eight of Swords, I feel like they're scared to come forward here. I feel like this person is... They're scared to communicate now. Maybe because, I don't know, because they feel like you're going to reject them. They don't feel like you're going to respond. Or I just feel like maybe they're going through something with their emotions here. Okay, because it feels like... They were kind of ignoring their deceit and their dishonesty here. And I feel like they've had some sort of concern with the relationship or the connection, but they avoided confronting that. And instead they've ghosted you or they disappeared or they pulled away or they lashed out or they acted, you know, how they did. Um, and look, they may have even, there may not necessarily have been a problem with the relationship. It could have been their own insecurities or their own issues that they had going on here. But to me, it felt like, they showed uh, like a disinterest in facing that. I feel like this person is was or is still deeply insecure about themselves here, to be honest with you. And maybe this person, I don't know why I'm getting this, but maybe this person thought that you were cheating on them. Or that's what they thought, or they were under the impression, and that's why they did what they did. Because they felt like they wanted to retaliate or get back at you. Okay, that's for some, not for all of you. But I do feel like there's still, to me, it feels like no matter what's happened, I feel like the two of you can maybe put that behind you. Because the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And look, for some of you, maybe you're not interested in going back. Maybe you're not interested in going back to this energy at all. Because 
some of you maybe you know you're of the belief that what's in the past belongs in the past it should stay there and when the past calls hey it's got nothing new to say so you don't answer okay and if and that that's fine that's absolutely fine um but if you feel like there's still something there if you feel like there's still love there or there's still potential um there just might be with the aces the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles but there's obviously still an attraction or there's still emotions that are there you know, just because they've hurt you here, those emotions haven't necessarily dissolved, right? And I do feel like the Ace of Pentacles tells us that there is an opportunity for, you know, the hope or the promise of a new beginning. And also possible commitment on their end here. I feel like they've always held you in high regard. I feel like this person put you on a pedestal and in doing so, he or she kind of separated, kind of created the separation between you and them without them actually knowing it the ten of cups you guys have been going through a storm but i feel like you will get your rainbow at the end of the storm i feel like there might be that opportunity to be able to reconcile i mean is it going to be easy no absolutely not far from it again no um but for some of you it might be worth it because the two of you might you know this is you've got the infinity loop here this could just be your forever person do they have some inner work to do? Yes, absolutely. Um, will they? Well, that depends. And I feel like that hinges, the relationship, the future of this relationship hinges on that. They have some things that they need to work through. If they don't, that's going to hinder this connection. Okay, just because this potential is not always realized, right? So there is that potential of a reconciliation. There's still hope from what the cards are indicating. But don't rush it. Not right now. Give yourself some time. You need it. Give them time as well. They need it. All right, guys. And these are your messages. Thanks, as always, for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks, guys, again.